Walter over called you. Welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, we're here in the North Mayo capital, Ballina. Already it has received worldwide acclaim following the recent visit of US President Joe Biden. Well, there's thousands of people back on the streets here today for Mayo Day, the biggest event of its kind in the calendar here in the county. And people have enjoyed, there's music, there's food, there's craft, there's sports, you name it. So you're going to enjoy a fantastic show. Well, we started our day with a visit to the Mayo Crafts Village where there were some lovely crafts on display. Now, we have Crafts by Sandra Mack. Uh, you've been at this for about six years now. What, brought, what got you involved in it? Well, I, when the kids were at dancing class and I was sitting in the car for hours, so I just taught myself to crochet and I started. And then it just got legs and ran. <laughs> so what are the popular items? Uh, well, we have Obviously, our Mayo Bear. Mascot, yes, yeah. our Mayo Bear. Most of my stuff is machine wash and tumble dry. So, which is very important for kids. So you can, when they throw it into a puddle, that you can just wash it and it's fine for the next day. And we have reusable water balloons, which are great. So you don't have to pick up the pieces of balloons out of the grass. You just throw them in the tumble dryer and they're ready then for reuse the next day. And then these are keepsakes for brides. You have something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue. So my name's Rena Foss. And my name's Isabel Martha. And we're a TY mini company from Swinford. There's five of us in the group, so me, Izzy, Shauna, Maeve and Eve, and we make dog beds from recycled materials. So it's fully recycled and we get all of our supplies for free. And we're in a we're representing Mayo for in Pro Park in the national final in the national final next Friday. Happy Mayo Day. Day. <laughs> Hi yeah, I'm Grony Bolton. Um, I am doing some candles and wax melts, some match jars, um, they're called Alu candles. Um, I'm based in County Kildare but I'm from Mayo Castlebar. Um, I have some few different scents on display there, some hand wash and lotion, um, they're all hand poured in my house in Kildare. Um, they're soy wax, so good for the environment um, and I try and be as eco-conscious as possible with my packaging. Well, we're definitely with a craftsman here now. Tom, you're, you're Mayo Abbey, aren't you? Yep. And this is all basket weaving, and you're some very interesting. I see the St. Bridges Cross here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have everything, and everything I have is made out of willow. I have all different types of baskets, different shapes and sizes, and I also do outdoor pieces as well, bird feeders, and I have some bird feeders over there too, so I have a full range. I also have an artistic piece as well up here, a giant skib, 80 centimetres in diameter. Traditionally it would have been used for straining potatoes when the dinner was ready, so you can imagine the size of the family they would have had. But uh, subsequently after its use it would have been hung up on a wall to dry out. So that's why in modern times people are starting to use them as decorative items in their homes and basket makers are starting to introduce different colours into them. And are they expensive to buy? They are, they are, well, 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 for these artistic pieces, yes, mm. you know, there's a, there's a lot in that and there's a lot of planning that takes place, but for these ones, generally, they're around 150 euros each. Okay. And how's business? Mighty. <laughs> You're Mighty. smiling anyway. We're called Bellana Beekeepers, but we're actually Mayo Beekeepers, because we were the first club that set up in Mayo, that's why we're called Mayo Beekeepers. And we have different regions where the honey comes from. Like say, Jude is Nathan Beg, mine are belly bees, somebody else's are called something else because we all produce separately. It's huge health benefits that people are finding out. You know, there's lots of research done the last couple of years, especially with heather honey and with ivy honey. And our, our local summer floral honey is exceptionally good for people with allergies, etc. And that's why there's so much health benefits and people are always looking for local honey. And that's what we Mayo beekeepers try to strive is for beginners to encourage them into this sport or topic of beekeeping. 
Following our visit to the Craft Village, we then headed over to the local library where a number of Irish language events were taking place. Hi, Henry Thomason Shaw, Egg Law Wio, Egg Laurel and Valeno, August the Law More Agri Agananshaw, the Fubble and the Guelga, August the Fubble and Walla. Um, so Thomas Egg Toshik the Martinish, Takyarlin, Drummyakta, Gafoshi, Ashul, who's there in Ish, Bajor Fajalev, Pudgana, Drummish and the Clushal. Um, Egg Laffer Hay, a Hain, Bakerlin cartoon, Gafoshi, so be Shvik Tarang, uh, Ruddikin Chawan and Limwio, Ruddikin Specialta. Um, August and Chin, a Kahu Honda tree, be Kerlin, Lini up the Greeny Foster, so be Nadini Foster, a Karang Shanur Shin. August and Am Kina, a Kahu Honda tree, be Session Arachesh, August Suvnish the Foschi, Lake the Ski, Tog Sos, Murdishan Arfad. August and Chin, a Kahu Club, be Session Arachesh, Gafoshi, August and Nadini Foster, Tolofa. Ah, it's brilliant, Henry. Happy Mayo Day. Um, you know, it, town is buzzing. This is Pier Street, where I, I, I have my office. Uh, the weather is perfect. We've just had the drummers. We have amazing music, amazing food, amazing craft exhibitions in the Market Square. So, Balna is buzzing. Mayo is buzzing. And I think we're still on the high across the county of, of President Biden's visit. Mayo Day, our next stop in Balna is the Connacht Fla, then we have the festival. Then we have the French event, so 2023 is certainly the year for Balanau, the year for Mayo, and it's great to have Mayo Day based here. Ready to go on stage to rock the crowd here in Balnard. Yes, indeed, Henry. Have the guitar on, just about to jump on stage, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's a great crowd, great atmosphere, so we're ready to rock. How's your mother got the tune we go? You should be shouting and the heart speaks. Hey, how's your mommy? Sing a song, sing a song, sing the same old song. My colleagues Mayo County Council have played an incredible part and this is a celebration of Mayo people across the whole county from the islands, the small villages, the bigger towns and it's, it's lovely that we're hosting it in, uh, in Ballina this year but also the volunteers, it's very much part of the Mayo spirit, it's the metal spirit but it's not just the Mayo people, it's uh, the people who have arrived to the county especially over the last two or three years, often from difficult circumstances who are now, I was out with the community cleanup this morning, for example, Henry, and the majority of the volunteers on it were uh, Ukrainian volunteers, picking up litter, proven in Balna. And that's the same as the volunteers that have come down from Castlebar, internationals from difficult circumstances who have seen refuge here in County Mayo. The same story that we had historically. Thankfully, times are much better here at the moment. Today is a celebration of Mayo people and the Mayo spirit, but it's not solely, strictly condensed to just people from County Mayo born and raised with all of our heritage and history like we have, but the people who have joined us from afar who are making Mayo a better place um, and we are thankfully able to play a part in helping them in difficult circumstances. Have you had an opportunity to enjoy some of the festivities here during Mayo Day in Ballina? I've, I have actually, yeah. So. I got, I got in nice and early just uh, before the crowds uh, 
came milling around. So I was down on the food in Wall Street, the crafts are in Market Square, some brilliant musicians playing. Foxwood Reed, Brass Band are here behind us. And um, there's, there's, there's a main stage up on top of Pierce Street. So there's a brilliant amount of activity. And it's, it, it really makes you proud um, to see all the talent and all the, um, all the different, you know, people that are here uh, from all across the county showcasing the best of what they can offer, you know. So I signed on to a whaling ship the very first day at sea. I see a mermaid in the waves reaching out to me. Come live with me in the sea, said she, and down on the ocean floor. And I'll show you a million wondrous things you've never seen before. Jerry, you just come off stage. Why would the crowd here in your hometown? What's it feel like? Well, Henry, you know, it's always great to play locally, but to play for such a special occasion as Mayo Day, not only in your home county, and your home, I walk these streets every day of the week. It's just, it's a great pleasure, a great pleasure. And, and for playing your first time for Mayo Day as well. That's, this is the first time for Mayo Day, but it's just great to be here. It's a great occasion. This is my first Mayo Day that I've been at. Never mind playing, it's, it's a brilliant, real fe festival atmosphere, and the place is hopping. It's only three o'clock. So over I do. Mags, uh, obviously you must be feeling very good today. What a turnout for me all day here in Balna and the year that's in it, 2023, 300 years. 300 years and Mayo Day, nine years in the making, Henry. And look at the crowd behind us here. It is electric in Balna today. I can't believe it. The bakers were up all night baking. The craft makers have their tents full of gorgeous goods for the day. The streets are buzzing, the music stage is alive, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on Mayo Day. It's and, brilliant. And there's people here from all over. We've met them from Kerry, they're from Stranton, USA. They have come up from the north, all over the place, and amazing. It just goes to show how far the Mayo Day word has spread, Henry, and it's testament to the hard work that has gone in over the years. It's hard work from Mayo County Council, the stakeholders come on board every year with us, and communities, communities accept that you know there's going to be disruptions and there's going to be things that have to be put in place and um, to prepare for the event but people are accepting because they see the benefit of it it's raising the profile of the county in every way and it's showcasing the very best of what Mayo has to offer and it's all here in Ballina today so we're here in the civic offices space this art space and this P this exhibition was specially selected for Mayo Day 2023. So this year we decided to go for the Mayo County Council's collection and there's over 200 pieces, way over actually, it's been collected over many years now. So this piece is far back to the 90s and right up to new pieces that were acquired in 2022. So what we did this year was we asked um, a group of, because Mayo Day is in Ballina, we asked a group of artists in Ballina led by Val actually McLaughlin to come together to view the whole all the collection that is in storage and to make a special selection for this space for Mayo Day. So they were guided as well by Mick Smith from Mayo Art Squad and um, Paul Cunningham from Ballina Art Centre. Um, and so that was a great day of just looking, exploring the whole collection and they made this selection of 50, over 50 pieces really. So um, there's over 50 artists as well. There's like a collective like Nicolica here, a newly acquired set of eight Prince. Um, there's artists like Alice Maher, Dermot Seymour, um, just like over 50 and it's a great opportunity to see this work because very often a lot of the collection is actually in Mayo County Council buildings around the county but a lot of it is also in storage so this is an opportunity to see some of the work that you're not always aren't isn't always available to the public. A very popular attraction every year at Mayo Day, the Food Village, showcasing the best of local produce. Hello, um, my name is Danica, I'm from Connick Distillery. So we have made the first legal whiskey in Mayo in 150 years. This is our batch one. Got some uh, spillage here because we're tasting with people today. But um, this is a four year whiskey. It's aged for four years in white oak barrels, then finished in a sherry cask for six months. It, um, it's a 47% whiskey, it's a barley whiskey. And uh, this is, we have about 100 bottles left of our batch one. Yeah. Now you've introduced a new whiskey uh, after Joe Biden's visit here to the county. Yes, we have. 
So we have uh, our no malarkey bottles. This is the same liquid of it, but it's a commemorative bottle. So we had about 300 of these made, and they're mostly gone at this point. So it's just uh, something to mark such a special occasion. Well, and a huge demand for it, I believe. The what? A huge demand for this oh, whiskey. Yes, yeah, people have been trying to order all over the world from for this one, but we only ship in Ireland. It's just a very special thing to mark his coming oh. here, you know? Well, look, we wish you well, and um, yeah, the Cahir is going to take a little taste here. You might just let us know what you think of uh, the whiskey. Are you a whiskey connoisseur? Um, I, I have a yeah, bit of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm at the age as well, you know yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Lovely. It's lovely. really lovely. And no. I'm going to finish, and that will be the sherry cast. Oh, God, that's lovely. It is really lovely, lovely. Oh, I think it's well, in the middle of Mayo Day, we have the most two famous chefs in County Mayo, Ron and Jerry. You're very welcome indeed. This is a busy spot, I can tell you. It's a busy spot today. We have uh, about seven chefs doing cook tems today, presentations, products from all around the county, showing what's best, innovative and what uh, can be achieved with hard work that has been done here in the past couple of years. Yeah. And Jerry, you're giving a talk this afternoon, a very important uh, yeah, talk later on about, um, I suppose, education in, in, in the culinary industry. But not, that, not only that, but even today, like to bring all the people together, like the producers, ourselves, in Mayo, just to put it out there that, you know, we're a serious contender here in Mayo for food. And we are, like, you look around here, you can spend the whole day here looking at all the different products from Mayo. And then all the different chefs from around me are doing demonstrations. It's a great day. Sure, the weather is brilliant as well, you know. We it helps. It. We had it booked. And they tell you that there's an awful shortage of chefs, uh, not only in Mayo, but across the country in that. Yeah. And, and that's what today is about, to show that there are so many possibilities where chefs with, with the training can move into. I mean, chefs, people think that working as a chef is just working in a restaurant or a hotel. It is that, and is that as a start off, and usually you start your career with that. But there's so many areas, like I specialised in healthcare. I've done a master's in nutrition. Jerry's done his master's. There's so many ways you can go into a niche area uh, from the basic training in culinary. And, uh, and the, the world is your oyster and open and maybe start a new product in Mayo. Another huge day here in Ballina, thousands of people on the streets for me all day. This is very important, not just for Ballina or indeed me all, but for the diaspora worldwide. It is hugely important and obviously the initiative is in place now for something like nine years. And I, I was saying during the week, you know, that the uh, connected, connect, connection of Mayo people with Mayo is, is better than any other county has. And um, it's very, very important that we maintain that. We're limited in any particular year in what we can do, but Mayo Day is an opportunity to do a lot of stuff. Some of it very lo low key, lo lo cheap stuff that doesn't cost anything. It's about people getting together and, and thinking about their Mayo roots and what Mayo means to them. And we know from the small delegations that we send to different parts um, of the states or Great Britain or whatever, uh, how much it means to those that uh, that the people of Mayo, through the elected representatives of the Cahir look, are, are remember them, know they're there, and are maintaining that connection and reaching out. And it means a great deal to them, and the, and the reception that uh, any delegation gets is truly tremendous. Well, you know, I, I have this honour to be chairperson for the year, you know, and I know, as you said there, and I've met you several times, we, we had an awful busy year, and a great year. It's one of these great years, you know. But, you know, uh, it's so important for me. I've been coming to the end of my term as well. And I just, I see myself, you know, uh, people coming up to me. And it's a great feeling and it's a great honour to have the chain. And that's what it's about. You know, we, we are elected by the people and I represent the county at, at large as well. So, look, at it, it's a great honour for me to be, to be chair. And I hopefully... You know, all the crests is here and the music and all. And I love, I, what I want to do is go around to all the people in the craft shop places and the, and, the, and the stalls. It's important for me to go and call and see them because they make a big effort. It's a big effort. And it's a big effort for organisers and all that. So it's important for me to get around, you know. <laughs>
stage your first gig in Mayo Day in Balna. What's it been like? Absolutely brilliant Henry. We're totally buzzing after that you know the rain stopped, the crowd gathered and it was absolutely unreal and uh, you know all I can say is bring, bring it on like more the more the merrier you know it's been absolutely great. Yeah, yeah. And what about the boys here uh, the rockers all the young crowd enjoying the, the trad mix fusion with rock. Yeah amazing amazing crowd just so much fun uh, we just we just love doing this and we do forever if we if we got the chance. Yeah. yeah, you do no wrong with the crowd today. They were they were fully on our side. Yeah, makes it makes all the difference. Yeah, when a man is nervous. <laughs> Lisa, great to see you here in Ballina. You come over especially for London for me all day. We sure did. Caught the uh, Heathrow to Knock flight there just in time and yeah, got down to Ballina. So. And uh, of course, you're no strangers to me all day here. You've, uh, you've uh, actually been a part of it for the last couple of years. Yeah, I think this is probably our fourth year playing at it now. So it's, it's become a fixture in the calendar every year and I make sure I have my green and red outfit ready and uh, yeah, looking forward to it now. It's going to be nice. Gary, it's great to see you here in Ballina. Looking forward to going on stage here in Mayo Day in the where Joe Biden was a couple of weeks ago. Absolutely, with Joe Biden a couple of weeks ago, now it's boxing banjo. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm delighted to be here. Like, what, a, what a fantastic event and a fantastic showcase for Mayo. Um, like, we tour all over the world, but it's there's nothing really like being in your home county, playing for family, playing for friends. And um, yeah, what a, what a day we have here in, in Ballina. Yeah, and we're looking with the weather as well. Absolutely, we're just coming down the road there and it was, it was raining, we're thinking, it's going to be raining down there, but look, the sun is shining and everyone's in good form. There's a great atmosphere about the place, so looking really looking forward to it.